Shalom Aleichem, Nale viewers, welcome to another shir in Maseches Brachis. Today's shir is dedicated to Lili Nishmas Rochelei Abbas Reb Chaim Tzvi. We're continuing in the Gemara Brachis in the second parak on Dath Yud Dalet Amid Beis, the top of the Amid. Four lines down from the top of the Amid on Dath Yud Dalet Amid Beis. Says the Gemara... Hahu dinochis kame de rabba. There was an individual who came in front of rabba. Shame rabba de omar ms ms tre zimni. And rabba heard this individual reciting Krishna and he heard him repeat the word ms twice. Hashem alekechem ms and he repeated and he repeated again. Ms. Says the Gemara, my Rabbi, Rabbi said, call Ms. Ms. Tafse Lahai. Rabbi said this individual got caught up in the word Ms. and he's, so to speak, caught in the word Ms. and that's why he's repeating it. In other words, he shouldn't really repeat the word Ms. Says the Gemara further. Omer Rabbi Yosef, Rabbi Yosef said, Kama ma'al yohosh ma'itza. This halacha that was taught, the Gemara is about to quote from Shmuel Bar Yehuda, Rabbi Yosef praised this teaching, this halacha, and said, this is mamish, a very special teaching. Kama ma'al yohosh ma'itza. Look how beautiful this Sugyes. The Chiyosa Rav Shmuel Bar Yehuda Amar. When Rav Shmuel Bar Yehuda, he came and he said, Amri b'marava, Arvis daber al b'nei Yisrael, v'amarta aleim, ani Hashem alekechem emes. Rav Shmuel Bar Yehuda came and he said that in Marava in Eretz Yisrael, the minig was when they would recite Kriyashma at night, they would recite the first pasuk in the third parsha in Vayoymer. Dabral b'nei Yisrael v'amarta aleim, and then they would skip most of the psukim till the very end of the parsha, and they would conclude with the words Ani Hashem aleikeichem emes. So Rashi explains, Dibra Maschil Hashmaitzo says Rashi. Kriyishma shel Arvis and Karim ba Parshas Tzitzis Kula. But Shmuel Bar Yehuda said that in Eretz Yisrael, the minig was that when they would recite Kriyishma at night, and they would read the third paragraph, the Parsha of Ayoyimah, which is the Parsha describing the mitzvah of Tzitzis, they wouldn't read the entire paragraph. Lefisha ain mitzvah Tzitzis Falayla, because the mitzvah of wearing Tzitzis does not apply at night. Avol maschil in oisa, but rather their minig was to begin this paragraph. Ayarim Hashem al bnei Yisrael, al Moshe leimor, dab al bnei Yisrael v'amarta aleihem, and then they would skip. They would begin the paragraph umafsikim ba, and then would interrupt umidalgin and skip to the very end of the paragraph. Yoyimrim ani Hashem alikeichem emes, and conclude with the words ani Hashem alikeichem emes. So Rabbi Yosef praised this practice because in this way they didn't completely omit the paragraph, the third paragraph of Kriyishma, which contains in it an element of Kabbalah Samach Shamayim by declaring Ani Hashem Alekeichem Emes. And remembering Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, they would omit the paragraph, the parts of the paragraph that are related directly to the mitzvah of tzitzis, since there's no mitzvah to wear tzitzis at night. Says the Gemara, Omar le Abaye, Abaye said to Rav Yosef, My Mal Yusa, why is this such a great minig? What was so smart about this practice? So Amar Rav Kahana, Amar Rav, 
Then we learn the name of Rav Kahana, the name of Rav. Lo Yaschil. That a person is not obligated to read, to begin the third paragraph of Kriyishma. The parasha of Ayoymer, when he recites Kriyishma at night. Then Hischil Goymer. But however, if he did begin the paragraph, if he already began to recite these psukim, Goymer, the halacha is, he must conclude and read the entire paragraph. Even though there is no mitzvah to where it sits, it's at night. So if so, asks Abaye, Rechaira, this practice which Rabbi Shmuel Bar Yehuda reported was done in Eretz Yisrael, that they would begin the first pasuk, and then they would skip. And